Good Tuesday morning. Oh, uh, hello. Um, I have no makeup on. Uh, I uh, did not expect to make a video today. I'm a little bit frazzled. Um, so, uh, I woke up today to the news that NordVPN, uh, a sponsor of the show, has had a security breach. It was, in some ways, a pretty limited breach, uh, but it was still a breach. Um, you can find um, NordVPN's response in the, um, in the episode description and also a link to uh, an article by The Verge. If you have any other resources that provide a um, good, like a comprehensive view of the situation, and please link them in the comments below and I will try to update the description with more of the links to be able to give you a, a view if you are a customer or if you're interested in this. Um, NordVPN has had no say in this video. They, uh, I've not notified them that I'm making this. Uh, it's very intentional in order to make this video as pure and authentic as it can possibly be, given that um, I have an economical relationship with them, they're a sponsor. I am making this video uh, because I want to gauge um, your, your thoughts and sentiments in the fun, fun Function community because, well, frankly, we are in the position of whether or not we should continue working with Nord as a sponsor. Uh, because it doesn't, uh, doesn't matter how much me and David trust Nord if, if you don't trust them. Uh, so I would like you to um, read up on the breach and uh, uh, give us your, your sentiments. Um, we could have just silently dropped Nord and just haven't continued working with them. Uh, they are for sure a good sponsor. They've been um, like very nice, flexible to work with. So in that sense, we would like to continue working with them. But they are by no means critical. We we have no problem selling selling these ad spots. Uh, but I still want to give Nord a chance, or allow you to give Nord a chance if you want to, uh, because I, a big thing that I've been pushing in the uh, in the fun fun function uh, fun fun function narrative and our values and what I believe in is that excellence comes from learning from a long series of failures. You don't magically become a good company from the start. Like it's it's not something you design. It's it's something that you you become after after learning from a lot of failures. Uh, and uh, I also know like from when I worked inside of Spotify, um, when I quit, Spotify had very, very good security, but um, there were like also during the years, like a lot of things that uh, uh, were plugged after, um, after breaches. Uh, like it's remarkable how fast the organization um, changed after after breaches were were discovered and, and announced. And uh, I, I feel like I personally don't judge subcontractors and service providers so much of their like normal operation. Uh, I think that it's more telling about a, a service how they react when something bad happens rather than when everything goes fine, you know. Um, but I don't want to say too much either and influence your, your view. I want you to develop that on your own. Uh, so please read up on the breach um, and give your opinion. Like, is this something that you think that makes NordVPN better than before? or worse than before. And would you, would you support us having them as a sponsor or not? Or would you prefer that we went with someone else or perhaps not advertise a VPN at all? I don't know. 
um, would like to know your thoughts. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna continue with one week now and uh, see if something else interesting happens during this, this fine week. <laughs> Go on. Until uh, next Monday morning, stay curious.